on tonight's Chatty Man, Pointless Star, Richard Osman, Dawn French, the very funny Russell Howard, and Little Mix. A report into doping in athletics revealed the Russians were up to their eyeballs in it. <laughs> well, I knew something was up when I noticed the Russian female 4 by 100 metre team had <laughs> stronger than the baton. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> it made one very painful looking handover. Did you see that? <laughs> Though, before we judge, the Russian female shot putters do raise a lot of money every year for Movember. So that's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> The new lineup for I'm a Celebrity was revealed ahead of the launch show on Sunday. Are you excited? <laughs> Apparently, X Factor choreographer Brian Friedman is going in. <laughs> Let's hope the boredom gets to him because I've always wanted to see what an ostrich doing a slut drop might look like. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be confusing if Brian starts walking around like this, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know if he's jazz hands or he's got a bug up the sleeve of his cow neck. <laughs> <laughs> Most haunted is Yvette Fielding's going in. Oh, I oh, know. That'll be a fun bush tucker trial. Oh, I'm getting a name coming through. Skippy. Oh. He <laughs> wants to know why you cut his <laughs> off. Um, <laughs> and finally, hold on to your hats. Victoria Beckham cracked a smile. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Posh, smiling. <laughs> now I'm wondering if she's on some kind of performance enhancing drug. Did you see that? <laughs> Why smiling such an issue for her? Come on, Victoria, you live with David Beckham. <laughs> if I'd seen him naked, I'd smile so wide, <laughs> my head would be able to flip open like a pedal bin. <laughs> What a lineup we have for you tonight. <laughs> She's one half of a legendary comic double act and the sexiest vicar on the telly until the one from Gogglebox bought a pair of peephole slippers. <laughs> That's right, Don French is in the house. <laughs> I'll be joined by the funkiest, spunkiest girl band on the planet right now when the brilliant little mix chat. <laughs> He's the West Country stand-up who puts the ooh into comedy superstar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good news host Russell Howard will be dropping by. <laughs> but first, put your hands together for the biggest brain box on the box and the man responsible for the most pointless TV ever made. It's Richard Osman! Looks delicious. Look at that. Doesn't mm -mm -mm. it? Ambassador, you are spoiling us. Because <laughs> <laughs> there are people on uh, people we all know you as listen. Cheers. Lovely. Cheers, everybody. Now, <laughs> cheers. Now we all know you as Alexander Armstrong's sidekick on Pointless, but is it true you actually came up with the idea of Pointless? Well, sort of. Yeah, that's actually surprisingly nice. Have a little bit. Um, yeah, I've been behind the scenes for years. I'm a TV producer. It's right, isn't it? <laughs> That's like Cristal. Um, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a TV producer, really, so for years and years I've come up with TV shows and stuff like that, and then I accidentally am now on this show. Well, listen, you're king of the quiz shows, okay. and also you're a fan of darts. I am. So I was thinking <laughs> we could play a new show of mine called Chatsai. Chatsai? <laughs> <laughs> and it's 
the world's first dart show, come chat show, okay. come game show. Are you ready to play chat side? I would love to play chat side. Let's do it. Here's how it works. Okay. All you have to do is throw a dart at the board and hit one of the categories, yeah? All right. And I'll ask you a question about that subject. So, like bullseye? Nothing like oh, bullseye. Nothing like bullseye. <laughs> you bloody moron! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you answer correctly, you'll win an amazing prize and we'll have a chat about that topic you picked. How do you fancy playing Chat's Eye? Yes, please. Let's do it. Right. Okay. You up there on the office. Yes. Listen, I'll go through tonight's subjects. They uh -huh. are pointless, yep. sex symbol, okay. the A to Z of pointless book, oh, yeah. telly, potluck, Twitter. Yep. And also... <laughs> Sport! I'm okay. so sorry, that is so my specialist subject as well. <laughs> OK. OK. Throw a dart and pick a category. OK, Richard let's Osterman. do this, shall we? This is so exciting. Do you put music on underneath it? No, like no, we just it. leave it. There oh, you go. We do, we do. But... <laughs> pick a category. Point, point. And this one's for a washer-dryer. Why have they got Peter Griffin advertising it? <laughs> Can I just have a word? Was that supposed to be me? <laughs> Did you see the state of that? Wow. That's just rude. That is rude. <laughs> Why do you look like he works at TGI Friday? <laughs> Ready for your first question? Yes, I am. Yeah. How many countries around the world is pointless shown in? Oh, that's a good question. It, it, is, it isn't used it? to be. Yeah, it is. Welcome very good. to You're... Chat's Eye. Oh, it's very good. <laughs> uh, it used to be in, in, in none, really, because it's successful, and all the rest of the world would kind of go, oh, What's this hit show you've got? Let's have a little watch. And they would all watch it and they'd just go, What the f was that? <laughs> they literally know the French and the Germans. But, but I think it's, last time I asked it, like 35, something like that. A lot of countries. It's actually 50. Did you Is know it? that? Is it? That's good. Um, now, you, you and uh, Alexander, you go way back, don't you? We do. We met How when did we you were, meet? We met when we were 18, when we were students. And so I've known him for seven or eight years now, which is amazing. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you two have great chemistry, Thank don't you? Thank you. Thank you. I mean, are you two just mates, or is it not totally platonic, like Caroline Flack and <laughs> Oli Mers? I... Oh, do you think they're doing it? <laughs> Do you think? I can smell it. Oh, right. <laughs> I, think that, uh, I, I, I think that I've talked before, I, I said, you know, part of the appeal of the show is there is a sort of Brokeback Mountain-style sexual frisson between the there two of us. Is, there I can is. reveal we've, you know, will they, won't they, is the question that people ask. We haven't yet, but no. we're, we're just about to do our thousandth show and we're looking for something to do, so maybe, <laughs> maybe... <laughs> it's time for you to throw a dart and pick right. another category. Let's do it. What shall I go for, do you think? Oh, no, well, don't say that because I won't hit it. <laughs> this is genuinely tense. Sex symbol! That you... was a terrible accident. Oh. <laughs> now, this one is for the top of the range home entertainment system. Oh, okay. In 2011, oh. you were number one on Heat's weirdest crush list. Okay. But who was number two? Blimey. Um, in 2011, that's quite a long time ago. Uh, it was, it, like Nick Clegg. <laughs> the answer's Alan Rickman. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, he's hot, right? Now, <laughs> yeah, woof. <laughs> <laughs> now, why is it that you make women go weak at the knees? Why do women <laughs> want to like? Because you are so tall, you're like Kilimanjaro. People. <laughs> People want to climb you yeah. and stick a flag in the top of you. Really? I, I conquered this. <laughs> Why? People like it when you're tall. Yeah. They do. They like, and there's no offence to you, but people do like it when you're tall. <laughs> no, but you're not short, though, are you? No. The, the key thing about being six foot seven, which is what I am, is everybody else looks exactly the same height, just because of perspective. It's like, you know when you're next to a tall building, you can't see any other buildings? Yeah. It's that. So everyone, to me, looks like 5'10". God... So, Everybody. Warwick Davis, you, yeah. everyone. <laughs> what, what's it like when you look down? Is it like Google Earth? Yeah. <laughs> Similar, certainly an awful lot of people are hiding bald spots. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I think it's time for you to throw another dart Let's and pick it. another category. So you've had pointless and you've had sex symbol. <laughs> the Ace has had a pointless book. Yeah, you've got a book called The Ace has had a pointless. I yes. know. There it is. Look, the way they caught me in such a natural pose. <laughs> <laughs> Now, listen, it is a toilet book, isn't it? You say that yourself. 100%. It's, 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 it's a series of quizzes from the show and a series of behind-the-scenes gossip that uh, me and Zander wrote. And it's, but, you know, it's like it's a perfect present and a perfect thing for the toilet because it's all quite... The, the bits are quite short. And the perfect thing to play on Christmas Day. Of course. Because all the answers are at the back, so you can cheat. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So if you're giving it to somebody, so to speak, yeah. you can... <laughs> <laughs> uh, before you wrap it, just yeah. have a little flick through, just look at all the answers. Now, are you ready for your first question on the category of the A to Z of pointless books? Alan? Yeah? I was born ready. Let's do it. I love your style. Let's do it. This one's for a state-of-the-art watch. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that's very, that's very hipster. Which category has appeared on the final board on Pointless over 20 times but has never been chosen by a contestant? Oh, I know that. That's in the book, actually. I can't understand why it's never been chosen. I genuinely can't. Uh, the category is Katie Price. Ah! Oh. No one has ever gone for it. Do you know what? Since we wrote the book and since the ones that are going out at the moment, someone did choose it, but they chose it because we hid it under a different uh, name. We called it Celebrity, uh, Celebrity Books. And so on, oh yeah, celebrity books, then we went, it's Katie Price. Oh, like, oh. you cheeky <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Richard. You are going home with a Casio watch. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Good luck with the pointless book. Thank you very much, and I've had a lovely day. <laughs> you left with nothing. <laughs> you came with nothing. And uh, good luck with the rest of pointless celebrities. Thank you. Richard Osman, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Russell Howard will be dropping by and the brilliant Little Mix will be chatting later. But first, I like my funny women the way I like my kissing. French! <laughs> Give it up for the brilliant Dawn French! Gonna sit on your gold. Oh, How lovely. Now, listen, it's yes. so good to have you back on the show again. Yes. Because you, you were last on series one. Yes. You, How long ago was that? I know. Was six it in this years? century? <laughs> yes. 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 And you kissed me. You I did. You never wrote. You never rang. I felt like a. <laughs> well, all right, let's be honest about this. When I kissed you, I hoped perhaps it might lead to something. <laughs> I hope. When I kiss a man, I like to imagine that very soon after I'll be ravaged. <laughs> I didn't get that off you. <laughs> I didn't feel that that was going to happen. Okay. So that's why I didn't ring. <laughs> okay. I stood you up. Oh, don't be like that. <laughs> Let me get you to. You like a Bailey's? I love a Bailey's. <laughs> love it. Now, listen, you, you spend most of the time... That's a lot of Baileys. <laughs> well, but listen, bring it on. Come on, bring, bring it, it on. on. I might get to the second kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping more for a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> you did, man. I like you being filthy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're <laughs> scum and I love it. <laughs> oh, please don't. Uh, cheers. Cheers, my love. Well, listen, it's, it's amazing to have you up here, A, because it's so lovely to have you on the show, but B, you live in Cornwall. I do. I know, I live a long way away. I so do. what do you like when you're up here? You like Crocodile Dundee? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit like that. London is just crazy. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> come off it. Not as crazy as bloody Cornwall, because I've got friends who've moved to Cornwall. Yeah. Now, you're going to be in London a lot over the next month, yes. because you're one woman show. <laughs> it's in the West End, 30 million minutes. Yes. Wagwan. Well, <laughs> 30 million minutes is how long I've been alive, Alan. Oh. Yeah, and it's basically a show about my life. It's like, everybody look at me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I basically go out on stage for the best part of a couple of hours and explain what it's like to be 
a mom, a sister, a wife, a lover, a daughter, a granddaughter, all those things all yeah. wrapped up in one dawn bow, if you like. I have a little rant yeah. about things I don't like and I, I talk about... you getting angry. Well, I do occasionally get the grump on. Oh, what yeah, are you occasionally. angry about? Well, I don't I like bullying. Like boys... Who, who bullies you? Who well, bullies dogs, well, there right? is a person who's written a book about me, in fact, two books about me, unauthorised biography about me. Now, OK, I'm fair game, that's fine. You can write what you like about me, even though it is bad and even though it is all inaccurate. But then she had a little go at my daughter. Ooh. I'm not having that. No. No one touches my daughter. No. So when somebody goes near my kid like that, I'm the lioness. Yeah. And that's when I come out, you know, roaring. Oh, God. You yeah. like those cats in Greece? Yeah, exactly. Take a bit of cheese, off. And, you know, don't make me well, angry, Alan. that's Alice. bad. I didn't know no, about don't, it. Don't uh, try to bully me or get no. me angry. Don't get me riled up, oh. because I will bite you. Oh, yeah, oh. and I go in low, hard, low, hard. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I bite on the back of the knee. Yeah. And then you'll know about it for oh years. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, that's who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. I never knew you had that side of you. Well, you know, yeah. if, if you're a mum, yeah. you protect your cubs, don't you? Mm. Simple as that. We've got to talk about your latest novel, According to Yes. We have. It's one of the most uplifting novels is it? Yes. Well, when you when you read it, I don't want to spoil it, but you're reading it, you go, oh, I think I know where this is going, then boom. Yeah. Oh, yes. Boom. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, good. Yeah. Or um, that, or that, or yeah. that. Yeah, which is a great yeah. conversation for people who've never read it. <laughs> and, <laughs> sorry. Well, what can we say? But give us a little taster. Well, it's about a woman, a Cornish woman, called Rosie Kitto, who's 38 and she's a teacher and she's got a bit of sorrow in her background. So she leaves England to go and live in Manhattan. And her job is to look after twin 10-year-old boys. But she finds herself in the middle of this very repressed, cold family ruled over by a very stony matriarch. So you've got this very icy woman versus Rosie Kitto, who is like sunshine. Yeah. You know, she's come there and she's abundant and she's uh, kind of open to everything in life. And she decided on the plane on her way that she was going to live her life according to yes. yes. And Rosie finds herself saying yes to many more things than she should. Yes. And it all gets a little bit racy. Mm. Let's put it that way. Now, I was surprised in there. <laughs> yes. I don't think I'm happy to see that much crack of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's Where plenty. Where does this... Did you find yourself surprised at how filthy you could be? <laughs> um, well, look, uh, I haven't written this kind of sex before. Um, and I realised I had even more freedom, really, because it's not... Although it's Dawn writing it, it's Rosie Kitto doing it. So yeah. I thought, ooh, I can visit all yeah. long sorts of places I have been afraid to go. Did you turn yourself on at times? I refuse to answer that. OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> my God. I know. It was a little bit hot in my office, let's put it that way. It was racing. Good luck with the book, my love. And good Thank luck you. with 30 million minutes. Yes. It's at the Vaudeville Theatre when? It is. Now, it's, uh, so it started on November the 11th and we finish in the middle of December. John French, everyone! <laughs> So he's the stand-up comedian who brings more good news to the screen than Krishna and Guru Murphy on a disco biscuit. <laughs> it's the very funny Russell Allen! I'm very well, how are you? Good. Well, now, we've got to talk about your new series, Russell mm. Howard's Good News. Yeah. Now, listen, the news is so grim right now. I mean, you've got Syria, you've got, like, the refugee thing, you've got 5p for a carrier bag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I had to rate the world on TripAdvisor, I wouldn't even give it one star. <laughs> can I just say that? <laughs> the world's gone <laughs> How can you think? Come on! What? It must be tough, A, for you to find news to get comedy about, and then good news. I mean, please. 
But there are little bits of wonder in the world. Like there was a story the other day from Barnsley. A bus driver, his bell had broken and he left oh. a sign on it that went, no bell, just if you want to stop, shout ding ding. <laughs> now, <laughs> It's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> right, we're reversing, everybody. B, B, B. <laughs> so the snippet, and also I think I think a lot of people are interested in politics these days. Like yeah. we did a thing about um, the NHS, and it went mental because yeah, exactly because because you know people are really I think particularly young people they're kind of fascinated and they want to protect the NHS, and they were probably slightly off that MPs had an 11% pay rise mm. in the same year that they're trying to give them a pay cut. Yeah. So. You know, now, I've heard rumours that on. you're taking good news to America. Can you confirm or deny? I can deny them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, think it would, uh, I don't think it would work. I'd like to do it, but uh, no, nah, I think they've, they've got enough kind of comedy news shows. You should go, though. You should take this show. Really? No, oh, come sure. on, really? <laughs> <laughs> Chatty guy. <laughs> Gigging in America is amazing. Well, I've, so... I've, got, I've got doing a few gigs next year in New York, but I'm just terrified. I don't know because they're like New York, they're like, hey, <laughs> move on. <laughs> they love you. They'll really? Ab they'll absolutely love you. Why would they not? And they love the English accent. It's just, I was in a bar in New York, and this woman was like, "You're English." Oh my God, say something English. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to say, and I just went, "Probably." <laughs> <laughs> and she honestly went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, it's great. Because you know what I get when people say, hey, where are you from? And you go, Northampton. <laughs> and then they must think everyone is <laughs> Northampton. Like, Hello, welcome to Northampton. They must think there's this town that's full of people like that. <laughs> like a seagull trapped in a lift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking of American and lifts. I had a very bizarre. I was in a lift with two two Not ladies. With Solange, no, no but listen to this. This is. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a million miles away. I was in Washington, and uh, there was two ladies, probably about fifty, and one of the ladies was squeezing the other lady's boobs, and I panicked, didn't know what to say, and went, "What's going on here?" Right? <laughs> and this lady generally turned to me and went, "It's her birthday." Right? <laughs> Oh, I've never had that kind of celebration with my friends. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's a great place to gig. They're so buoyant and happy. They cheer anything. It's oh, brilliant. Well, that's good. Now, this year, as you may know, I don't know if you know this, but I was um, seagull number one in a SpongeBob SquarePants movie. <laughs> the 17th highest grossing film in the world. Check it out. Check it out on Wikipedia, haters. Um, <laughs> you're going to do acting yourself. You've yeah, acted yeah. in something already. What's it called? Gertlush? It's called A Gertlush Christmas. Yeah, I wrote a film and, um, yeah, it's on at Christmas, yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, should be all right. So Pretty tell good. us, what's it about, then, this Gertlush? Wagwan, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you so much. Um, um, it's about going home, uh, bring, bringing a, I bring my character, Alan, my character, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, brings a girl home for Christmas, and his family are mental, and much hilarity in shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good fun. Now, what's your family like? Because you say they are, are they mental? mental? Yeah, they're lunatics, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> there's just no, there's no cutting around it. They're mad. Like my mum, recent, my mum loves the fact that I'm famous. And we were, we were on a motorway recently. There was a crash ahead of us. This bloke got out of the car, genuinely knocked on the window. Went, Excuse me, you Russell Howard? Can I have a photo? Which is fairly weird. Mm. And my mum genuinely went, Help! <laughs> <laughs> He's kidnapped me! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, mum's like that. Hey! Said, I think, understandably, why did you do that? And my yeah. mum, because I'm 57 and I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> So, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, exactly. But that's what I was trying to say. I bet you're just getting right in down the Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, are you getting excited for Christmas? I think things are starting a bit too early. Do you agree with me? All the Christmas yeah. bloody things. Yeah. Enough already. I know. Uh, no, I, I love Christmas, but... It's too early now. It's too early. It is. Have you seen the John Lewis advert, Did You Cry? No, I thought it was deeply creepy. Um, <laughs> that's, not, that's not heartwarming. That's giving an old man a telescope, looking at a little girl. That's grooming. It was horrible. <laughs> I thought it was the most depressing... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never thought of it like that. Oh, no, that spoiled it for me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, 
didn't enjoy it at all. Uh, good luck with Gert Lush. Thanks, man. When's it on? It's yeah. on at Christmas, and I hope you enjoy it. I, I enjoyed doing it. It's very nerve-wracking because um, it's the first time I've done something like that, but I, hopefully people will like it. I'm sure they will. Now, you're also doing a mini-tour over here. Yep. Where are you going? When's it starting? Tell me everything. OK, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing some gigs at the Albert Hall in March next year. And good luck with good news. And good luck in America. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's give it up for the sexiest thing to have come out of X Factor since Simon Cowell started sporting a push-up bra. It's the one <laughs> and only Lil <laughs> Some bad news, girls. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a way to start the show. I know. Sorry, Jesse, but love, there's no drinks for you lot tonight. What? Oh, my God. No, I was you can't. No. in the dressing room, and then I thought I oh, might not as well because I'll have one with you. No, because you can't be trusted with alcohol. Why? <laughs> not after what you did at Simon Cowell's house. Oh, oh really? no. That's Jade, not us. Yes. Really? Yes. Why didn't you explain to the boys and girls at um, home what happened? So we went to Simon's house for a little bit of a Sunday, Sunday roast. roast. As you do. And Jade was <laughs> herself, so she had a little drink <laughs> and got well, a bit too a drink drunk. Ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Jade, take it away. Oh well, basically, <clears throat> we showed him a funny video because I said we wanted to have a movie. So um, we showed him a video for acting, and because I was drunk, I found it absolutely hilarious. Yeah. So I was sitting with me glass of wine, and it got to a bit where I say something funny, and I went. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like literally everywhere on Simon, on my she manager. Blew out the candles. The candles no. Out the no. How much? <laughs> yes. Yes. Why did you have in your gob? I know. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Jessie wet herself. She found uh, it so funny. Jessie. You know when you can't stop laughing and wee just comes out and you can't. Oh. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I was going, oh. Jade. But you know when you get support when you literally can't stop laughing and Simon yeah. just carried on as if yeah. nothing happened with all like this wine over his face. Oh, oh no. Oh, well, that's so was, sweet. He oh, carried on. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Well, we I haven't can't... been invited back since, so... Is it any wonder, love? Is it any wonder? <laughs> Listen, this is a brand new sofa, so I'm not having anyone <laughs> on it, so can you please get up? <laughs> I'm bringing out the cling. I'm bringing out the cling. I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm not having anyone. <laughs> can you hold that? <laughs> I'm not having anyone on this. It's disgusting. Sit on that. Thank you very much, ladies. Please sit down. No <laughs> thank you. No on the Alan Carr Chatty Man. <laughs> now, I saw you smashing it on X Factor the other oh, week. Thank you. And I love the bit where they rip your skirts off. Now, was oh, any yeah. you worried? <laughs> ain't got no knickers on. <laughs> we had that all intact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, you imagine if we didn't. Oh, my God, can you imagine that? Yeah, we're all tucked in nicely. Yeah, yeah well, that's mm -hmm. good. Because, listen, you're doing so well. Thank and listen, you. X Factor has been a curse for some people. Yeah. <coughs> Steve Brooks <don't> <coughs> oh. <laughs> Andrew the Bin Man. Oh, <laughs> oh, <Ridian. Hey. laughs> Katie Wise. <coughs> okay. Kitty Brook. No. <laughs> 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 well, no. And, so funny. But you've <laughs> broken America. Well, we've done all right, yeah. 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 <laughs> And what's this about you recently performed on stage with Taylor Swift? Is she your new Bezzy? Yeah. yeah well, we travelled back on a jet with her, which was oh, well, oh. unreal. <laughs> Literally, oh, we oh, were oh, like little let kids. Let that drop out, didn't no, you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the jet. I just popped this anecdote here. We don't get off too much. Private jet. <laughs> That's the thing, though. I remember when you used to go by Uber. <laughs> The Americans got on with your Geordie accents. Oh, it's getting better, isn't it? It's all right. It? We have to, yeah. like, slow down when we speak, say mm. with T's and, you know, make sure we don't sound too Geordie. Yeah. So how slow do you talk? How slow do you talk? I'll just be like, hi. Oh, I can't do it. Someone else. She, she goes, <laughs> this, is, this is the thing. She goes, hi, I'm Jid. And they go, Jid. Jid. They call her Jid. Jid? No, like, Jid. Jid? She's Jade. Like, Jade. <laughs> I'm Jade. And then they get it. They haven't got a clue what she's saying. They <laughs> <laughs> haven't. But Jade has got better. Because when I first met Jade, I'm not joking, I did think she was foreign. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But she's a lot yeah. better now. Yeah. 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 Some yeah. words that you say, like, weird and, like, weird. film. Like, yeah. they have their own... Like, it's, it's they call Ian... Like, someone called Ian, they call Ian. Ian. 
Ian. Ian. I'm like, yeah. no, it's two syllables. Ian. We're saying two syllables. Ian. No. Ian. 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 It's two. Yeah. Oh my it's exactly the same. <laughs> now, yeah. we've got to talk about your new album, Get Weird. Yes. Yes. Now, how chuffed are the way it's gone down? Everyone's oh, raving about it. Yeah. It's insane. Like, we went away for a year. We wrote an album. We wasn't happy with it, so we scrapped the whole album. Why did you just scrap the whole album? Because it just wasn't good enough. We sat down mm. at Perry's, we listened to it, and we was like, we can do better than this girl. So we... Went back to our label, mm. said we want to write a whole new album because we feel like we can do really? better. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's how how it was it. Whole album, this is. It was a mix match is, yeah, as well. well. And, yeah. and like, we'll never just settle for any old crap. No. So yeah. yeah, we wanted it to be the best it could be. So yeah. and we'd been away for a while. We didn't want to just come out of anything. So yeah. we're really proud of this album. So we've worked so yeah. hard on it. And you said it's a celebration of people who are a bit different. Yeah. Yes. yes. What's so great about nut jobs? Everything. <laughs> yeah. That's all yeah. it is. It's just about not giving a crap what anyone else thinks. Yeah. I yes. feel like these days people worry too much about what they look like and care about Probably what yeah, people think too much. Yeah. And we just think let that them, time yeah. to let, 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 let your hair Be down. Yeah. 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 It don't matter. Get yes. weird. We had this wonderful. You're weird, yeah. Alan. We love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bit rude. Bit rude. <laughs> That's it for tonight's show. And that's it. Thank you to Richard Osman, Don French, Russell Howard, and of course the brilliant Little Mix. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's always a laugh. Give up the Little Mix. Thank you, girls.